bulletins. Now, after 21 days in quarantine, uh, Jimmy Safia Sentongo, together with 100 others, will be released today. Uh, Sentongo was among the first Ugandans placed into a forced quarantine after travel bans were instituted in the country. We we'll speak to him on phone. Sentongo, if you can hear me. Uh, Mr. Sentongo, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, paint for us a picture. How has it been being in the quarantine for all these days? Oh, well, I would say it has been um, a mixed picture. Many different things. The first part was messy. The second part, uh, in terms of what happens at the hotel, I would say the hotel uh, really knows how a quarantine is supposed to be. Um, they were doing all that they were supposed to do. Mm. Most of us were in our rooms and... Um, Everything was well catered for, provided in our rooms. I think the challenge only came in towards the end when uh, they started talking about when they introduced this policy of extension, which I think did not make sense for people that were staying in their rooms. Mm. These quarantine centers could be different. I understand that there are others where people mix. I think it would have been applied differentially, such that those who stay in their rooms are not affected the same way as those who don't. Mm. Yes, yeah, but that's generally, in short, that's what I would say. Were you in touch with your family, and how did this affect your family in one way or the other? I beg your pardon? Were you in touch with your family members, and uh, how did this affect them? How did your stay in the quarantine affect them? Of course, I've been in touch with them ever since back on the 18th of March. Mm -hmm. And certainly they are traumatized by all this, uh, because in the first at Entebbe Inn, mm -hmm. at Central Inn in Entebbe, I was exposed to risk, and their fear was that I could actually get, end up getting infected there. Uh, mm. It has been, uh, I think, a hard experience for them. You would understand, and I think even to them, I would try to explain that this is necessary. It's important that people who are coming back are quarantined mm. in order not to put the rest of the country at risk. But the problem was mainly with how the quarantine was managed and the risks at which we are being uh, exposed. Mm. Um, so how does it feel that today um, you're going to be released, you're going back home? Um, how do you feel? Yeah, that's the promise, or that's what we expect, but up to now we are still at the hotel waiting for certificates, and I was told that uh, they were still being printed. I don't know how but up to now we are still at the hotel. Okay. I hope you reach home safely, and uh, thank you so much for complying with the new regulations. All right, thanks, Andrew. And I guess regulations were better. Mm. Wow. Well, there you have it. That is uh, Jimmy Safia Sentongo. He has been in the quarantine for 21 days and uh, he's yet to be.